This what, is the 95? first pair of sneakers my mother got me in 95 First for pair of kicks that your mom got you. I had to almost cry you. to get those. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Academy work goes to... <laughs> <laughs> mama, please, hey, mama. What? You finally made it, baby. I feel like if you could drop in from the pyramid, yeah. that's an accomplishment. If I don't get this, I'm spending the night forever. It's my favorite room in the house. Oh, oh, I don't know, I'm nervous. I think like I don't want to break them. House guests, we out here. What's up, y'all? Today, I get to visit a very special young lady, a baller. But on top of that, she has some of the coldest kicks in the game. And me, I'm a sneakerhead, so you gotta come correct. I think I'm gonna have to go with these bad boys right here. We'll see how she how she likes it. Yeah, yeah. Yo, what's what up, up, man? What's up, lady? How you doing? Good. Welcome to the A. Hey. You know, I couldn't be in an A. You know, yeah, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I gotta through. see what this sneakers, you know, the sneaker closet is talking about. Yeah, it's a little something, something. That's what's up. We'll see. That's my college jersey. Any uh, significance to the 11? Teresa Witherspoon was number 11. She was one of my favorite Beach. players. My aunt was a New York Liberty season ticket holder since I was little, so that's why I used to go to the Liberty games and watch Teaspoon. And what's this right here? This was from, um, I just got this last year, uh, November, from the Athle Athletic Fame, Hall of Fame for my college. Oh, nice. Congratulations yeah. on that. Thank you. That's I appreciate it. I know why you're here. I know you want to see the kicks. You Let's go know. upstairs. You see, that's why I had to bring these bad you boys out today. You brought the heat. You feel me? Well, hold on. This is Michael Jordan High School right here. You yeah, that's my high school jersey. We went to the same high school. You went to the same high school as Michael Jordan. Yep, and both of our jerseys are retired. What's that like? to be a GOAT with the GOAT. It's crazy, like, who would think that their jersey be retired with MJ? You know what I'm saying? So I went back home for the Hall of Fame and I saw my jersey up, hanging, MJ jersey. I'm like, this is crazy. Like, how many people would probably believe this, you know? Heading to the sneaker room. Hey, hey, hey. It's my favorite hey, room hey. in the house. I don't even know why I'm so excited <laughs> to be in here. Like, you know, get to see other people's Because you're a sneakerhead, you know? What are these right here? Sneaky. Oh, those the the uh, LA Dunks. What? Yeah. I've never seen these. These are nice. This is a cool De La idea. Souls. The De La Souls. Oh yeah, these yep. are fire. Yeah, you got you got kicks I've never seen. I can give you that. From one sneakerhead to another, I mean, we all love gifts. Mm -hmm. Is there any gifts or shoes that your friends or family or you know other NBA, WNBA players like shipped you or gifted you? Well, on this side, we got some autograph kicks from D-Wade. He's Ooh. one of my friends. Uh. Um, this is his actual game shoe. Okay. Um, and he gave me other shoes. Feet. Yeah. Damn, these D-Wade's? Yeah, these D-Wade's. Damn, D-Wade. <laughs> <laughs> so he gave fire. me other ones, you know, from my size. Chris Paul, one of my friends, I got a lot of shoes from Chris. Yep. He sent me my game shoes for the summer and family and friends pairs as well. These is what, only 54 made? Mm. 11 of 54. Oh, I like these. Family and like friends. This. What is this? Uh, suede. Suede, yeah. yeah. See, I'm a big fan of suede kicks. The suede, yeah. And 54. red is like one of my favorite color for sneakers. I got See, WNBA these. kicks from my WNBA friends. Wayne Cash, Catch, Diana, Cappy, Tisha Pinachero. Oh, I love Cappy too. Seal, Simone, She's dope. Maya, yeah, Maya fire. Piff, Elena, Sloop, Skylar. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. What you see? Yeah, those are Tayana Taylor. She actually signed those to me. Ooh, you might have to really show your <laughs> feet heat. Coming to the game, what is your. Like, what's your whole method and thought process behind what shoes are you wearing for that day? You look good, you feel good, you, you play, play good. So hey, you can, it's a TV you game, my, you know you gotta bring the heat, you know Dion. what I'm saying? So, word, word. Exactly. So if, a, we're, if we're playing tonight, you going up against Candace Parker, what you bringing out and you in LA? Well, aside from playing in my CP3s, you know, right. my guy, the Retro 10s is probably one of my favorites, so I gotta bring, how many people got the Linen 10? Not too, I got them, I got so them for I got sure, but these is the fire. Tins, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Bring okay. back the, 
those haven't even been re retro since the time they came out. This what, is the 95s? first pair of sneakers my mother got me in 95. First for pair of kicks that your I had mom to almost got cry you. to get those. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Academy Award goes to. <laughs> mama, please, hey, mama. Please, I got a mama. story for these cool grades, though. I Tell faked me. sick in high school. Just to go get them? Just em? to go get them. They had like a re release <laughs> or something, like noon on like a Wednesday. Right. Daddy, I'm sick. Can you come pick me up from school? Oh, by the way, can we go by the mall real quick? I gotta get these J's. It worked. <laughs> it worked every time, huh? I made some PG's that I'm gonna bring out this summer. Oh, let me see. Mmm. All I'm blocking. How'd you get this idea? So my dad, he passed from pancreatic cancer, which is purple ribbon, okay. at, at the age of 59. So that's where I got that from. His favorite team was the Lakers with the purple and gold. Lit. My favorite sneaker color is red. And then I just thought the royal blue would go well with it. So inside say RIP daddy. So talk to me how you created that sneaker room upstairs. Okay, first I started with just sneaker boxes, but then after playing in so many different uh, cities, going overseas, Box. it, the boxes is too much yeah. to travel. And I saw other guys that had like sneaker rooms with the wooden shelves. That's what I and I'm had. like, it's dope, you know? You could see your shoes out and it just looks way better than the clear containers and all of that. I changed it so many times with like the number from Jordans to like the colorways. It's like every so often I go in there and I'm like making changes to it because it's like my favorite thing to do. I think high school is when I became like a real sneakerhead. And my friends used to have all the Jordans, all the new Air Force Ones, and I was still rocking sandals and dress shoes from Payless. Some guys like, you know, Rip Hamilton, Mike Bibby when I was in the league, Quentin Richardson, they had the Nike, the Jordan mm -hmm. deals already. Right. You know, I had like a Nike deal, but it wasn't like how, you know, theirs, they were getting shipments of J's every week. And right. I'm like, and it was coming to the locker rooms and I'm like, bro, what are these? Like right. they was getting shoes that I've never seen. I'm like, bro, that's crazy. That's yeah. why I'm so heavy into my collection. Cause I'm like, I've never had a deal from nobody, Nike, Adidas, nothing. So all my shoes I paid for, or I had friends that would look out yeah. for me. Is there any goals that you're setting for yourself for this upcoming season? I want to be a WNBA All-Star. A couple of times in my career, I was close and got shortchanged like at the last minute and definitely a championship. 2014, we made it to the finals. We lost to Phoenix. That was the closest I've got. Definitely looking forward to making the playoffs this year. Uh, but I just wanted to thank you for, you know, for having me. I appreciate, you know, the hospitality. I got sure. to see some dope kicks, you know, learn some good history. You know? Definitely. I thank you for coming through. Yeah, good anytime. talk, yeah. always. Now we know where she's going to put them shoes that she's going to take off her feet. <laughs> you see, look, they leave the, the evidence. You got to put them back right here. That's where they put go. Put them back where they come put from. Them. I told my son, that's my rule. You come and take my shoes, you got to put them back where you got them. It's like going to the library. You got to return your books to the library. You know what I'm saying? So you come to my shoes. Return shoe, your sneakers back. Return your sneakers back to, to the, the to sneaker the shelf. rack. Yes, put it back on the rack. <laughs>